everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be based on how to cut a high outer neck jumpsuit using two yards of this fabric. So, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold this into four to cut it once for you. But in my previous tutorial pertaining to jumpsuit, I cut the trouser twice. But here, I'm going to cut the trouser once, both the back and the front. So I turn this to the other side so that the chalk, the sketching will show very well. So this is into four, I told you. This is into four, you can see. So I'm cutting this particular trouser once. The length of my trouser here is 41. The length of my trouser is 41. Yeah, so with the sewing allowance, I'm making it 42 and a half. With the sewing allowance, 42 and a half. Yeah, so now I'm going to cut it out. Cut the trouser out now for you to see. As now I want to cut it separately. I have to cut the back separate and the front separate. But here I'm going to cut the both. I'm going to cut both the side and the back and the front at once. For the a waist here, I'm using fifty. So fifty divided by four is twelve and a half. Yeah, I'm using 50. So then you you determine your hips point. My hip point here is nine. So from this nine also, I measure the hips length and the wideness of the hip. So I'm using so using 13 here. So 13 into four give us 52. My 52 is here also. This 50, from this waist, I'm going to measure the flap. My flap here, I'm using 36. So 36 for the flap here. I'll do it for you to see. That's eight, and that's an 18. From here to here, it's 18. So then I'm going to slant it down. So the wideness of the um, the down here, I'm using 12. So this is my 12. So I'm going to slant it to to the flap here. Like this, then I'm going to cut it out. So, this is the cutting of the slab. 
it removed this particular area so i'm going to cut it twice because of the fabric it's too hard So, these are the palazzo trousers you know, that will be at the down part will look like. So, I'm done with this. I'm going to with the half length here. So, I'm going to fold this into four now. Into four. This is into two. And this is into four. You can see it. So my zip allowance will be there. So I'm going to trim this space out. So the airplanes here. Yeah. I'm using 17 and a half, yeah. 17 and a half. So I'm going to trim this part away. I'm trimming it out. So this is it. <laughs> so this is the length I'm dealing with. So from here, you are going to measure the the shoulder here. For this shoulder, is not is not a, a usual shoulder that we normally measure. My zip allowance here is one and a half inches. You can see the next thing I'm going to do here. Yeah, I'm going to measure the neck. The widest of the neck is an eye outer neck. Um, so I'm, I'm the, the neck I'm using here is four and some inches, and like two inches, four point two inches. Here, yeah. then from here, I'm going to measure the ammo. The ammo here is not a usual ammo. If you are dealing with um, ammo um, 9 inches, so you're going to use 12 inches here yeah? because it's not it's not there, it's not it's not a 9 ammo. 
so I'm using 12 here yeah, 12 inches for the ammo so from this ammo I'm going to measure the bust my bust here yeah, is bust 44 bust 44 here yeah. with the sewing allowance I'm going to make it I'm going to put two and a half and two inches here yeah, with the sewing allowance so yeah the waist here yeah, is 30 um is 39 which is nine and a half which is a uh, nine and a half here yeah, and some inches so with the sewing allowance i'm going to put two inches sewing allowance here yeah, too so then from here, I'm going to sketch the slant line to the neck here. Then a slant to the waist also. So hope you've seen it. Like I said earlier, uh, this is the neck. This will be the ammo. It's not a normal ammo that we normally cut. So it's slant ammo then this is the from ammo to the waist and this is the half leg so from here now i'm going to cut it out Going to the waist. So this is going to be so from here now you can decide to lower the neck here because you're going to put if you are putting the band you can lower the neck like two inches since i'm going to put a band at the neck here so i want to lower it with two inches i'm going to add the two inches back with the band you can make it straight if you like and you can slant it and you can make it curve if you like you can try to cut it like this or cut it like this. It depends on how you want it. This. So this is. This I'm going to put my band. I'm not using this for the band. So this I'm going to put my band. Then you. After joining it, you round it. So if you put a dart here, it usually look nice on the on the upper side. So but the dart here is not a usual dart that I normally put. That is not going to stay here. So I'm going to put the dart here. So and it's a slant dart. So you're going to measure. Now, to determine the dart, to determine the dart, you're going to start the measurement from up here. So when you measure um, the main, uh, the normal ammo, which is, um, I'm going to use 8 for my normal ammo, as well as a normal cutting. So I'm, from this 8, now I'm going to measure 3 and a half. 
so this is where my dart is going to stay so if you check if you check it from up so if you want to know maybe what you measure here is is um is correct so you're going to start from here then you measure the breast point so the my breast point here is 10 and a half for this particular measurement the breast point is 10 and a half so when you check the 10 and a half uh, from the shoulder to the to the breast point which is 10 and a half, when you check it here you see they are of the same line when you cover it you can see so my measurement so, so is it that you take it from here or you take it from here where you want your dart to be so now i'm going to slant the dart you can see so the dart the, um, the dart length it depends on how you want it you can make it when you're sewing it you can make it up to um uh, 11 inches or or 9 inches so it depends on how you want it so you know you know how to do your stitch your band uh, your uh, your dart so this is how it's going to be so i'm done with the upper side here too so let me show you how it's going to stand so this is the down part and this is the upper part the elastic over here to make the jumpsuit fit. so this is the end of today's tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share bye